Cypher mains be like. My girl's a nine on a bad day, and on her birthday, she's ten. Baba Bowie. West Jet. What is up, hog riders and apple ciders? My name is West Jet, and today we're gonna be talking about how I actually got banned from an IRL Valorant tournament. Disaster. The story goes like this. There is a Valorant event called Fullerton to which I was attending. It's essentially a Valorant LAN, and, uh, you know, quite frankly, I do not care about the game. I just wanted to go to LA, you know, uh, get some drinks, get a little boozed, and maybe go on a drive. So here I am, flying to LA, getting to meet all the Discord-looking Valorant players, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to, like, recruit people into my, like, cult. I'm trying to get people to just get absolutely obliterated, get, getting swifty, uh, Rick and Morty style, you know what I mean? So, you know, me and the boys pull up, local host Fullerton, you know what I'm saying? Like a little tournament and, uh, you know, pretty cool. You get to meet some other players, you know, you get to interact with people from the community, which, you know, I don't really want to do. Basically, I just went there to drink. And of course, I take a little responsibility for what happened. Of course, I was never at fault. I actually did nothing wrong, which you will see. So we had this little gimmick, right? We're getting these security shirts, we're being kind of funny, we're pretending to be security, we're having a good time, we're having a jolly old time, everyone's drinking, everyone's having a good time, everyone's hanging out, having some fun, right? Anyways, back to the point of the story. One of my friends shows up, he has a gun, and all of us drunk, like, degenerate Valorant players were like, holy smokes, we got a Glock in the Rari, we got a, you know, a Valorant buy round, pistol round, no armor. And when, like, the most goofy, like, brain-dead gamer white motherfuckers get their hands on a gun, you already know what happens. We're just goofing around and we're posting it to just, you know, troll, essentially. Let me just play the video real quick. Of course I will censor the gun because I like YouTube and I like money. Alright, this is the RRV meetup, we got Chick well, Memphis. Well, well, well. West Jet, Saint, Chick Memphis got the, what you got there, Chick Memphis? Hey, you already know that's a CZ Shadow too. In my opinion, pretty harmless video. We said nothing bad. We never even mentioned the event where we were going. There was no threats made. So the fact that we got actually banned for making that clip is ridiculous. <laughs> the fucking video. <laughs> After we made this video, we went to bed, you know, as if nothing happened. Tomorrow, the next day, we were ready to go to the LAN, right? And uh, unfortunately, the first thing I see when walking up to the LAN is this. This is my friend Saint, who was also in the video. There's the ops on him. Some of my friends run up to me and they go, West, West Jet, Ops got Saint, you gotta go, bro, the Ops are on you. I was like, ah, sh. So I quickly exit the area, hop into my trash BMW rental, and, you know, use zero turn signals and skirt, skirt to drive away. A bunch of people around me are freaking out, imagining the worst scenarios, having borderline panic attacks, and I'm just like, boys, chill. Legal video in our Airbnb, licensed gun, what are they gonna do about it? There's nothing bad that's been said or anything that implied anything bad. So chill out! Of course, with my insane six foot five stature, I calmed everybody down. And as like, you know, the adult of the group, surprisingly, I was able to, you know, handle the situation. I do not blame the event. I think it was actually very responsible for them, like actually like, you know, removing us from the event. Of course, it was a bit of a bummer, but like, why would you remove the security? Like, why would you remove the security? We were there to help, you know? <laughs> so there we are. We're standing outside the event. We can't go in. We've been temporarily banned, or at least that's what the information got relayed to me. I didn't really want to like, you know, risk the odds and like trespass and like try to sneak back in and pretend I was somebody else. I could have been like, oh, it's, uh, that's WestJet. I'm EastJet, you know, my clone. So yeah, we're just standing there outside talking with people at the event. Everyone's walking up. I met some really cool people. Everyone's hanging around. People are getting Ubers and whatnot. It was pretty much like 7 p.m. So the event was basically coming to an end anyway for the first night. Regardless, we're all making jokes. We're all saying that the Matrix sent their agents. They're trying to stop our hustle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's basically just the story of how I got actually banned from a Valorant event. And I'm basically like a, a wanted war criminal at this point. What can I even say? Be uploading like more random content more consistently as well. And, uh, you know, I also stream daily on Twitch. Well, let's just say I'm the best streamer ever. You don't do that. Prove you're Indian by gifting 10 subs. But I bet you can't. You know why? Because you're from India. <laughs> Inside me are two wolves, both of them made Reyna, and both of them are gay and depressed. If you like this random rambling style of video, be sure to leave a comment. This will help me greatly as I'll get more money, which I can achieve my main goal in life. Buying a huge apartment building and raising single mother's rent on Christmas. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away, but I know that I don't.